Hello, friends. Today, I'm talking about people pleasing and how it's a trauma response and how often we don't realize that. Okay. I say that because years ago, if somebody had told me, Michelle, you know, you're people pleasing, which I was aware, I was very well aware that I was always trying to make other people happy. Right. But if somebody had said to me, your people pleasing is a sign of trauma, I would have been confused. Just being honest, I would have been like, what are you talking about? Because I thought that that people pleasing, it was just a characteristic of who I was. And that's how, or that's just one small example of how often we confuse our coping skills with our personality. Okay, we think that we are our coping skills. We think that those are our traits of who we are and they're not. And I wish I knew that. I wish I knew that when I was 20 years old. So I'm telling you guys, if you people please, in other words, if you are always thinking about how to make other people happy, if you stop being you because it upsets someone else, if you're always um, doing what other people want, like they, they might say, well, what do you want to do? And your answer is always whatever you want to do. And you never speak up about what you want. You never stand up for what matters to you. Then you might want to contemplate that somewhere in your life, somewhere in your childhood, someone made you feel like you were not allowed to be you. Somewhere in your life, it was not safe to be your authentic self, okay? And as a result, you developed the coping skill of people pleasing, but it is not who you are. It is a coping skill. Children develop that coping skill of people pleasing because if they're themselves and they are rejected by the parent, and that rejection can be so many different things. It could be that the parent gets angry. It could be that the parent shames them when they're themselves. It could be that the parent um, gives conditional love. So the parent's happy with you when you're doing what they want and they're unhappy the second you start just being you. Or it could be more overt and they can literally criticize your authentic self. When that happens in childhood, a child's mentality isn't wow, my parent is really messed up. Like, how could they do that? That's so wrong. I'm allowed to be me. No child seven and under is going to think like that because their life is dependent on that caregiver. So it becomes much more safe to say, my parent is good. My parent is okay. There's something wrong with me. And then the brain gets busy trying to focus on how to be better, on what it needs to do and be so that it can gain that love and approval. And by having that focus on what you can do, it takes away from you looking at the pain that is inflicted by a parent that doesn't allow you to be you. Then when you grow up like that, constantly having to think about what I have to do to make mom happy, what I have to do to make dad happy. When you grow up like that, those actions then become hardwired into your psyche. Okay. And then it becomes a part of who you are. Yes, I know. I said, it's not who you are, but it becomes a part of who you are through habit. Okay. But it's not a part of your authentic self. That's the point I want to make. It's really not a part of your authentic self. So here's the hard part, okay? Understanding that on a logical level can be easy. Like we can get it like, oh my God, that, that makes sense. Yes, I get it now. Why I, I, I people please, I understand where it comes from. That understanding doesn't uproot the people pleasing because the people pleasing was something you were rewired and conditioned to be in, which means to overcome it, you have to rewire 
and recondition yourself to let go of that coping skill so that you can be your authentic self. And that's challenging. That's not easy, but it can be done. And that's what I want to talk about these topics on this channel. I want it to be all about how to stop being who you had to be because of trauma so that you can become who you really are. So if those are topics that you're interested in, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you're notified of my latest videos. And if you want more assistance, getting back to your authentic self, right? And, and you've been struggling to do this for a long time, you might want to check out the Thriver School of Transformation, which is a monthly membership where we meet live on Zoom every week, and we work through the side effects of narcissistic abuse, complex PTSD, and childhood trauma together. The links are all in the description box below.